Hello everybody, happy summertime to you. I wanted to do an updated summertime makeup look for you today. My everyday go-to makeup that I've been rocking for the last couple of weeks as we have headed into the summertime and into the warm weather. This is slightly different than my, you know, five minute makeup, the no makeup makeup look that I did prior to this. This is more so like, this is my full face is getting ready, but just a few summertime <laughs> switch ups, even though right now I'm not looking as bronzed and sun kissed as I normally would be at this point in the summer. This is your girl all naturale in the paleness going into the summer i'm literally disappearing in photos <laughs> the sunshine and the flash just i disappear <laughs> but here's my natural pale version summertime makeup edition listen <laughs> i'm just gonna go in straight and use some moisture this is my embroilies lovely little cream let's put a good amount of this on because honestly okay i have to tell you guys i i need to know if anyone else feels this pain, but I feel like I'm allergic to my hair. I don't know what it is. No matter what product I'm putting in my hair, even if I have no product in my hair, I get so itchy when my hair touches my face. Like I blow dried my hair today. I had a fresh hairdo. I was ready to film, feeling fab. And then my hair sometimes, it just depends on the, the day. It's not all the time, but sometimes my hair, if it's touching my face, I just get so itchy. I don't know if it's still red. It was a little bit red. I get so itchy from it and I itch it away. And sometimes I'm like, am I okay? Am I losing it? Like, I know that it's a thing. Like you can be allergic to your hair or sensitive or is it just some like sensory thing where it's just too much but it was touching my face and I simply couldn't handle it so I just put my hair up in a temporary little clip so here we are now even though we're not as bronzed and summery looking as normal I still want to add a little bit of glow so I'm pulling out the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion it's been a minute and I'm just going to apply this onto the high points of my face onto my cheekbones and you know it really is so delightful, this product. It is very juicy. It blends into the skin beautifully and there's no chunky bits of glitter. I mean, any, I don't like any glitter to be on my face when I'm putting it on my skin, but specifically if you have very big pores, you really want to avoid products that have that. So this is a beautiful option, very juicy, just soaks into the skin so nicely. And I'm just literally putting that on my cheeks to add a little bit of natural glow. Even if you were doing a total no makeup makeup day, that's a beautiful option to just put onto your skin with your moisturizer and add a little bit of healthy glow. So next I'm gonna use my Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch. This is in the shade B20. And this is one of my favorite, you guys know, one of my favorite products in general to use on a daily basis. But there are very few products when you are moving into the paler side of life and looking for a shade match. Uh, a lot of the lighter shades can pull really pink or really yellow. So I do have a few favorites that are just truly more neutral in tone. And this is one of them. I just think it really suits my natural skin tone very well. And then obviously when I do a fake tan or have a little bit of a tint on my skin, uh, I can mix it in with the deeper shades. And I just, I, I love, yeah, the neutral undertone of this. I think it's really, really nice. And I just put a light wash of that all over. One of my favorite products to wear for a lighter natural makeup look, a natural finish. And I have to say my, my love has continued with this IT Cosmetics brush. And I have seen so many people using it and loving it. This is the number seven, Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection All Over and Conceal Brush. And this has been such a game changer. I don't know why, all of my brushes are very, quite dense actually. Like the foundation brush I normally use is this one from It Cosmetics. I used the MAC one for years before that. And I don't know why I'm feeling like a little bit of a changed woman with this lighter, softer, bigger, more bristly brush. And then the fact that you get the other side for any concealer or for me, I use it on my nose. It's just been a great handy tool to have for my everyday makeup. I'm loving it so much. So speaking of neutral undertones, one of the concealers that I've pulled out of my collection has been the Clay de Peau Concealer Stick. Now this one in particular is in the shade One Ivory. And just like that Chanel base, it's just perfectly neutral in undertone, which again, is very hard to find in base products and concealers. Even like my NARS concealers, my Makeup Forever concealers, they can all pull very, very pink or yellow. So I love that this one is truly neutral and <laughs> This is definitely one of the more expensive concealers. And I believe that it was actually reformulated, but this is one of the products that I did a very, very early, early on 
um, review video for like back in, I think it was 2016. I did a review video of this concealer and it was cause everyone raved about it. Like this is such a cult favorite for so many. And yeah, I got a fresh one in PR and I've been playing with it and I really love the color. The color just suits my, my natural skin tone very well. And I'm kind of just blending that all over. I'm going between a smaller concealer brush and also this big fluffy one and just pushing it into the skin. And it just gives such a beautiful finish, such a beautiful finish. It wears really nicely. And because it's a little bit more on that natural matte finish side for concealer, I find that I don't necessarily need powder. Like I'm still gonna use powder, but just for my everyday makeup, it, it kind of settles in really nicely and I don't feel the need to set it so much. It just kind of has that natural setting capability itself. And so I put it on, I still have the glow, but then because it is a little bit more matte, it's just mattifying as you go. Uh, speaking of that, I really wanna try that. I mentioned this when I did the Nikki makeup masterclass videos, but one of the products that she always uses is the Tom Ford, uh, I believe it's the Traceless, Traceless Matte Primer, something along those lines. And just using that little matte primer Primer on the T-zone and then all your glow on top. I kind of want to try that little combo, but that's sort of the idea with using this slightly more matte natural finish concealer is that you don't necessarily feel the need to, to powder as much. It just settles into the skin. It looks natural. It's completely undetectable. And I really didn't have to put in too much effort into the blending either. So I know it's a little bit more of a spendy one, but it's one of those concealers that has been around forever. And I have pulled it out because I think it suits my natural skin tone so well. Now let's go ahead and use the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. This is looking so foul. This has gotten so much love from me. I'm obsessed with this bronzer and because it's that very, very thin formula, I find that regardless of uh, whether or not I have natural skin tone or I have a fake tan on, I can use it for both, which is very nice. It just, it's the most thin natural looking formula. It's super glowy. And I'm trying to not stress too much about using new products all the time. You know, like I have my favorites and we try new things every once in a while. And once I find something I love, like I am happy to just use it every single day until we hit pan and I am just, yeah, the, the same goes for this cream bronzer. I'm loving it so much. I love the color. And especially when I'm doing this more natural makeup, my everyday go-to, this is just easy to slap on. And because you don't have to blend it out so much because it is such a thin formula, it's something that you can do very quickly when you're in a pinch as well, which is very nice. So just taking that on my chin, I'm having a really, I guess we've, covered it mainly now. You won't see it in the camera, but I was having a really big breakout on my chin. Just like literally right here. I don't know what was going on. I just, I, I mean, I sit with my hands. I touch my face. I need to just stop touching my face. It's such a bad habit and I do it so much. I think that's why I'm breaking out there. Anyway, I'm taking a little bit of this just down my nose too, trying to use a very light amount because for whatever reason, whenever I'm filming especially, I just go so overboard with the product on my nose and it doesn't need to be so. So forgive me while I look at all my different angles to make sure it's not looking too crazy. And I'm gonna leave the bronzer there, I think, any more, and I just look a little, it's just a little bit much when I'm pale, so. I'm going to use the Benefit Professional Setting Spray. I'm gonna set this all in, put a nice little layer of that, and then I'm gonna reach for the Givenchy Pressed Powder. I still have the shade number three. Now, just as a little update, how I feel with the pressed version versus the loose, I think, not I think, I know, I prefer the loose. I think the loose is much softer. You really get that full blurred effect. Obviously, having this on the go and being able to put it in your purse and touch up on the go is so nice, but I just don't find, it doesn't hit the same. I don't know why, it's just not the same. It's not as soft as the loose version, and you can kind of like see it on the face a little bit more, but if I'm not gonna be like using the little triangle puppy puff and set my under eyes, this is kind of nice to just throw all over the face and just do a little layer of setting. But when I use it up, would I buy it again? No, I would not. I so prefer the loose powder. And just as a little a little update, we did get our hands on the mini. Oh my gosh, for size reference, here's the full size. And then this is the little mini. It's the same size as the loose powder blushes that they have. And this is so perfect for travel. I'm so happy that they did this. You're still getting a lot of product in there. Like a little bit goes a long way when you're using the powder. So I'm so happy that they did that and brought out that option, especially when there's there's a whole lot in here. Like I've, I've used this endlessly. And yeah, I love that they brought out the mini. So that's very exciting. I forgot that I wanted to put this 
on my eyeballs as well. I'm going to take a little bit of this on my eyeshadow brush and just put that on my eyes. I totally forgot. I really wanted this to just be an easy, easy everyday makeup look. And I kind of stopped doing this for a while. I used to always put my bronzer on my eyelids and I'm not really sure why I stopped. It was just a phase, I suppose. And I'm really wanting to go back to the phase of using my bronzer on my eyelids because I think it just has such a nice natural effect and blends into the rest of the skin and the face so nicely. If it's a product and a shade that you're already using on the rest of the face and you already like the tone of it, then you're gonna like it on your eyes because because you're already putting it on the rest of your face. It'll just blend in seamlessly. So I wanna bring this back out. It doesn't do anything too noticeable, but it does just add a little touch of, hmm, there's something, there's something there on the eyes. And then I'm gonna go in with the powder just with that same little eyeshadow brush. And I'll just go over top and add a little bit just to make sure that we avoid any creasing. Now for blush, I actually do have a few new products that I'm really excited about. First one being the new shade extension of the Dior blushes. I am dying to shove rosewood on my face, but I <laughs> did recently use this and post a little TikTok on it. I did end up buying the Patrick Ta blush duo that so many people have been raving about. Melissa Herkman, the makeup artist, was raving about it, but also this was all over TikTok and there was a video of Patrick Ta using this on Alex Earl and it just looked so good and I, I just really wanted to get it for for quite some time and it was sold out for a while. And so I did get my hands on the shade She's Blushing. And it's kind of perfect, especially for everyday summer makeup for me. When I'm not very bronzed, my skin's a little bit more pale. So having a shade like this kind of does give that sun-kissed effect because it could be a little bit warm and bronzy, but then you still have that like pinky purple mauve undertone that just, I don't know, I think it looks so natural and beautiful. And I went a little bit heavy-handed as usual the first time I used it. So I just really wanted to show you guys here on YouTube, obviously, and, uh, and do the Patrick Ta way on the cheeks. So I'm gonna start with the powder side, taking my Repro 4 blush, brush, and really removing some of the product on the palm of my hand, and then just applying that to the cheekbone. And I just find that this, it's, it's such a pretty shade, but it also gives that nice, warm, like very natural, warm, sun-kissed feel. It's just different. Like obviously we have the shade Picante to give that very like sunset, spicy, extra warm, summery bronze. But then there's this one that's kind of like pinky sunburnt. <laughs> There's a difference. I like this. It's it's more of a flush look, so it's just different. And with my with my paleness, I just love this shade. And you can take a little bit of the excess up on the forehead as well. Take a little bit across your nose. And I just, like, what a pretty color that is. I think it's very much like a statement blush while also being natural. Like, I could, I mean, shove this all over my face and it would still look so natural. In my opinion, anyway. I'm sure there's going to be someone like, oh my god, that's so much blush. But I really love the color and it does have a bit of a glow to it. So nice. And he applies the powder shade first and then goes in with the cream on top. So I'm going to do that, switching to my beauty blender. Again, making sure to take quite a bit of this off first and just put that on top. And because this cream shade is matte, there's no glitter in it, but it has that really nice wet look. It just kind of blends it all together and adds this really fresh natural glow to the entire cheek. And I love it. I love the effect. It's so nice and it's so perfect for everyday makeup. <laughs> so that's a new in blush duo. I have been loving this color. I love the effect. What do you guys think? I filled in my brows a little bit before we started, but I'm just gonna go ahead and touch up this side. I feel like I lost <laughs> I lost this brow a little bit while we were doing the base. So just taking my Dior Brow Styler and filling that in. And then I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Brow Lift and use this to really slick up and set the brows in. Sorry guys, I just had a sneeze. <laughs> Let's move on to the lips. Still loving my NYX Nude Beige Lip Pencil. I'm gonna put this on my lips and just retrace, bring back the shape that we kind of covered with all of our base products and concealer. Although I do feel like we could use something a little bit warmer with this cheek, but she works, darling. She's still perfect. Now, I did have a new lip product that I wanted to try. NARS came out with the Afterglow Sensual Shine Lipsticks. I have to say, I wasn't crazy about the shades of them. Even from the preview, I thought that this shade in particular, for example, this Devotion, was gonna be a little bit more pinky. Even like the shade sticker on the box showed it to be a little bit more pink. But it's actually quite deep. Like it's very fall tone to me, you know? Like this little lip combo, 
it's so pretty. It's very much a, a moisturizing, juicy lip balm feeling texture and formula. This is like very much an everyday fall lipstick to me. It's not really giving summer to me. So like this looks deep, it looks a little bit gray. I know this is obviously gray toned, but yeah, I was kind of surprised by the entire lineup of that. We need some more summery brightness in our life, I think, even though I've literally been wearing Dior Rosewood every single day. Like I'd probably put this on top and that's so nice. Like those two look so good together. I love that. I like how it all looks together, but it's not very like summery and bright and colorful, is it? I'm gonna take a little bit of the Tower 28 Juice Balm and drink. And if I'm feeling like I just need a little bit of color, this has been such a nice like lip crayon to just put on top because it's not too pigmented. It's very juicy as well. And it kind of just blends in with whatever I have on my lips. And I think that's really nice. It just adds a little bit of color, a little bit of life to the lips. So I know that was a lot of different products on my lips, but. Now I'm gonna go in with mascara. Mascara, it kind of just depends on how I'm feeling or what I'm doing that day. I am doing a bit of filming, so I want a little bit of life added to my lashes, but I'm so happy to go without it too. This is the YSL Lash Clash Mascara in the brown shade. Also have tried the black shade, love them both. I think this is a beautiful mascara formula, but the brown is just a little bit lighter and has an extra a little bit of softness for every day, which I love. And after so many years of not using it, I have once again forgotten <laughs> to curl my lashes. I really wanna add this into my everyday routine and I keep forgetting. I even cleaned it before I had it sitting right here and I just went straight in for the mascara. Old habits truly die hard, my friend. So just the mascara it is. And once you're done fiddling with the mascara, that is the makeup look complete. We've got a lovely little tint of color, a lovely little wash of warmth on the cheeks and an all over very natural glowing look for summer. My pale gal edition. So if you still wanted to see a nice little tanned bronze version, I'm happy to do that because we also need to give Picante another moment because the Sophia Richie Picante love continues. <laughs> also just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who tagged me in her TikTok. I was also screaming and I appreciate your guys' love and recognition of the Picante love as well. <laughs> So that's my look everybody. This is my current everyday makeup that I have been rocking for the summer. Would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below what products you have been loving. And if you wanna see any other summer related content, hit me up down there, you guys. Love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all very, very soon for a new video. Bye.